So, good morning. Um, I just cleaned my room yesterday and <laughs> it is already a mess again. <laughs> and I just woke up like an hour ago. I do not know what happened, but okay. So unfortunately, I will have to go out today because I have to get some documents approved for my uh, university. I absolutely hate bureaucracy, but um, yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do. The thing is, I don't even have any masks left, so I guess I'll just have to cover my face with with this scarf, I guess. <laughs> I hope everything will be alright. I don't really don't want to. I really do feel uncomfortable going outside, especially without a mask. And I have to take the subway too. But um, I need the document really urgently. So, but yeah, I'll see you later. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day, I guess. I mean. <laughs> If I get dressed for the first time in a couple of days, I'm gonna show it off because this is not how I've been looking the last few days. I'm just gonna make this quick video. Current situation here in Japan, I'll insert some clips of closed shops and um, places where there are not only many people but there are next to no people now. Actually, there are some people. Some people are still roaming about. Some restaurants are still open. Some cafes are still open. Some like clothing shops are still open, and there are still some people in them. Some people aren't wearing masks, but it, ugh, masks are really hard to get right now. I would love to have masks to wear right now. Like, I really do feel. I did feel really uncomfortable outside without wearing a mask because nearly everyone was wearing one. Although there were some who weren't. Um, but I just don't know. I, I searched all over the place. I couldn't find any and I thought rather than risk contam Contaminating others and myself and risk being outside searching for masks I just Go with a scarf this one time and avoid going outside after this um, And Actually, there was this one person I saw on the streets who wasn't wearing a mask and he was sneezing like he was he wasn't even covering his mouth like he was he was trying to infect people I think he was like on his bike going around and just sneezing out loud like in public where they're like at people and that freaked the shit out of me but um yeah and another thing that pisses me off about Japan right now is that there are still some pachinko places which is where it's like um a more mild version of casino it's basically like in the same category as casino so people are like really next to each other uh one pachiko place is still open one near my home and i will insert a clip of that they they wrote like on a whiteboard that uh they're they're taking measures against coronavirus and it's safe to go there to play to gamble because they are disinfecting tables or opening windows or whatever but you can still like infect people who are sitting next to them like 
I do not understand this logic. But actually, most people, like most of my friends, are really uncomfortable with going outside now. So am I, of course. Um, most people here in Japan are very self-aware and they do really care about following like social rules even though there are no punishments because the Japanese government does not have the legal authority to order lockdown like Europe or the US they can only strongly recommend their citizens to stay inside but like when your mom strongly recommends you to do your homework you don't do your homework though but like Japanese they actually tend to follow these advices they uh, tend to succumb to peer pressure and the government is currently hoping that that will keep them inside but there are still some some people roaming outside. I think some people are still underestimating the situation. So this is my kitchen. We just got some uh, corona prevention goods from the company of my share house because I live in a share house, which is probably like not a good place to be living when there's a pandemic. But we did get some alcohol, san hand sanitizers, and some spray that we can use to disinfect this table. Don't know how much that actually helped us, but um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some udon noodles. So basically the way I make it is I put in some water, 350 milliliters, and then I put in 50 milliliters of this dashi, it's like how, uh, I don't know what people use in Europe, uh, Japanese use this dashi to flavor the soup. And uh, so I had 50 milliliters of this, 50, uh, 350 milliliters of water, two tablespoons, or like one tablespoon actually, because the salt is not that healthy. So one tablespoon of soy, soy sauce, and then two tablespoons of miri, which is... Um, I, it's an alcohol-based kind of Japanese thing to put in your soup, I guess. And uh, that's how I make the soup. And then there are these udon noodles that are very convenient. So I just take one pack out and microwave it. And then I just cut up some lettuce. So yeah, um, and after this boils for a bit, and after the lettuce becomes, or the cat cabbage cabbages, I'm not really sure. I'm not that good at cooking. I just make like simple dishes. But after this becomes soft, I'll crack in an egg. And yeah. 